This thing has so much power, gravity pulls it to the ground. No, I'm joking, it's just really full of heat sinks, which is why it gets incredible temps. Anyway, stick around for the full review of the XMG U505. <laughs> Check out our website at techteamgb.co.uk for more info on both this and many other products, and also up-to-date news on all things tech. Stick around for this awesome video. So this is the XMG U505. It's a 980M laptop, our based laptop, and it's just incredible. The exterior is kind of a soft touch plastic, which is great, but it's a fingerprint magnet, so kind of the usual trade-off. Um, on the back, you get two large ventilation grills for, well, all the ventilation. You also get all the display I.O., which is three display, uh, two, uh, two full-size display ports and HDMI port. And you also get the standard four-pin Clevo power adapter, because that's what this basically is. Um, but uh, yeah, on the left, uh, sorry, on the right-hand side of the laptop, you get a single USB 3 port. You also get the uh, myriad of audio connections, including including uh, digital uh, or SPDIF and a Kensington lock. On the right hand side you get the gigabit ethernet as well as three uh, more USB port or USB 3 ports, a SD card slot which is as usual populated with a sort of fake plastic thing and uh, you also get a USB 2 slash eSATA port as well. The, uh, the screen is, as I said, 15.6 inches. It's actually a 1080p model, but if you go into XMG's website, you can actually customize this to have a 4K screen. You can also downgrade the graphics performance if you can't afford the 980 model. So that's really awesome. It's just uh, really cool that you can change it up and, and that sort of thing. Now to take a look at the keyboard and trackpad, it's actually not that bad. This is the area that I normally pick out and get picky with because that's the thing you're touching all the time. But uh, yeah, it's not too bad. You get a fingerprint reader on the uh, uh, sort of trackpad, which is good for unlocking quite quickly and easily. The trackpad itself, um, while I didn't see two finger scroll, um, I believe that's just because I was missing the driver for it. Um, but generally the mouse buttons are sort of soft touch plastic, which is really nice. And the keyboard I actually really like. The layout isn't perfect. The sh uh, right uh, shift key is a bit too short because they fit in the arrow keys, but um, yeah, it's it's really nice to type on. It's a very nice experience in general because I believe the key presses are a bit um, sort of harder to do, um, take a bit more force than the uh, sort of average laptop keyboard, which is which is pretty nice and nice to game on, nice to type on too. The keyboard does also have a blue LED backlight. It is quite dim and doesn't actually shine through the keys, but it's still nice to have as a sort of an addition to, you know, while you're gaming in the dark. Up the top, you get the hard to press power button as well as the airplay mode and the hard drive activity LED and the caps lock, num lock and scroll lock button, uh, LEDs. You also get the XMG logo as well as the Onkyo speakers, which are actually really good, really loud, great quality. In terms of the screen, it's actually, even though it's TN, it's an incredible experience uh, for, for what you get. It's 1080p, as I said, and it's uh, 60 hertz, but you get great viewing angles and, uh, generally speaking, just a really nice color uh, sort of uh, reproduction-ness. And, uh, yeah, it's just really good to, to look at for, you know, long periods of gaming uh, and all that jazz. One thing that is quite annoying with this is the, the, the power brick. It's massive. It's almost the same size as an Xbox power brick, if you know how big that is. So uh, yeah, it's, it's about the same size as my hand, uh, but you can, you can see by the fingerprints. Now, um, just to give you an idea of the temperatures, this thing is amazing. The 980M inside while running Unigen Heaven didn't get more than 54 degrees max, and the CPU was about 64 degrees, which, again, incredible. That's kind of idle temperatures for a lot of laptops, so this thing is amazing. In terms of performance, you get some just sheer performance numbers. It's amazing. On uh, Dirt Rally, on ultra settings, you're looking at 78 FPS average, which is just incredible, and uh, it kind of just shows how, how well this can punch through games. Um, in Far Cry 4, on, again, ultra settings, we're seeing about 60 two FPS, which is really kind of the sweet spot for uh, you know a 60 hertz screen, as you don't really need to go over 60 hertz. But it's nice that with 62 as the average, you're not really dipping below that either. In terms of GTA on high settings, we're seeing 87 FPS. 87 on high settings, that's incredible. Now personally, I don't really run GTA on Ultra, otherwise uh, you'd get like five on everything, but um, it is an incredibly powerful beast. And uh, yeah, as usual, I'm gonna go through the pros and cons, my thoughts and all that jazz, so stick around for that, and well, don't stick around, it's like, it's now. So if you didn't know, the U in U505 actually stands for Ultimate, and you can see why. This thing is a beast. The 980M, I mean, it's just incredible performance, and the temperatures with, you know, 50 degrees max, that's it, you, you can, you, desktops don't even get that. Um, 
So yeah, I'm just really impressed with the laptop, if you can't tell. But uh, yeah, this this laptop is kind of interesting because for me, I'd still personally head towards an ARS X3 or an MSI GS60 and um, because they're a lot thinner, more portable and just generally for me because I use a desktop, the only reason I'd have a laptop is for when I'm away and traveling and this thing um, is something that you can travel with if you really want to but because it's like 3.4 kilograms, you could do some, uh, you could do some weight training with this and uh, still get a bit pumped afterwards. So. Um, yeah, it's not the most portable laptop. This is a very much a desktop replacement. So if you don't want to buy a desktop, you want to, you know, throw all your money at a laptop that's going to last you a while. This is the one you get. But um, it's kind of it's it's a it's an interesting balance because it just depends what you want. If you want to be able to take it around, take laptops around a lot, then as I said, check out the other ones. But if you want to plant this on a desk most of the time, but still want to be able to take it to a friend's house for you know for a LAN party or something or go to a LAN then this is probably the one you want you want to look at. Overall, it's just a really nice laptop. I couldn't actually find um, two-finger touch, uh, like two-finger scrolling um, enabled uh, on the laptop, but um, I believe that that's just down to a driver missing um, that I didn't have on here. Uh, so yeah, otherwise it's just really nice. I actually really like the keyboard for how it types and how it feels. The key presses seem to be actually a, bit, a little bit harder than your average laptop, which I find really nice and just generally have a nice typing experience. Um, you just need to get used to the layout a little bit because yeah, keys are sort of shorter sometimes and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, it's just a really nice laptop. Um, let's go for pros and cons real quick. So obviously it's a really nice laptop with great power. Um, it's pretty stylish with sort of soft touch plastic, which happens to be a complete fingerprint magnet, but I'm sure you kind of get used to that. Um, it's basically not the most portable, um, and also the keyboard backlighting isn't the best. It's only blue and is kind of quite weak, and the keys don't actually, the light doesn't shine through the keys, it's kind of around it, but nonetheless, it's still a nice feature that is there, and uh, it's just generally pretty nice. In terms of scoring, it's going to get a 3 for 5 for money. It's by no means the most iPhone money laptop you can get, but it is certainly awesome and you can customize it on XMG's website. So if you want a 4K screen on this, you can. If you want more RAM or more hard drive space or just more hard drives, you can, or SSDs. Um, it's just, yeah, incredible. You can change the graphics cards. If you don't want the 980M, you want something like the 970 for a, a bit of a cheaper price, you can go for that. So. Yeah, it's pretty awesome, right? Um, it's also going to get uh, 5 performance because, god damn, it's good. I mean, nearly 90 FPS on high settings in GTA 5, that's amazing. Um, yeah, it's also going to get a, uh, a 4 for functionality um, because it's not the most portable, ironically, as a laptop, but it is really nice and just generally awesome. Um, it's going to get a 4 for style because I really do like the, the look of it. It's just a big fingerprint magnet with a soft touch plastic, which feels really nice, but then you have to wipe it off five times afterwards, so... Yeah, it's also going to get a 4 for Tech Team Newbie score, and it's going to get the Gamer Approved Award, but here's something different. Um, I've been giving out the Gamer Approved Award a lot because a, a lot of the um, sort of tech that we look at is gaming focused, right? So, the as, uh, as a commenter uh, said to me yesterday, um, it kind of diminishes the value of the awards, and that is, that uh, that's very true. So I want you guys' opinion. Can you give me some names for uh, new awards that I can give out to gaming related products um, or even just general products? Like what awards can I give out? Um, and I'll, I'll make them up after I get some in. So leave them in the comments down below or on Twitter and Facebook. Just let me know. I really like to add some more, but I'd like you guys feedback and, uh, and what you think. So um, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, like if you didn't, dislike, but let me know why you did or didn't like it. And if you've got any questions, um, leave those in the comments down below too. And um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. It'll help us out a lot and means that we get more of these and hopefully even get to keep or give away one, maybe, possibly. We'll see. Subscribe. Um, also, check out some of our other videos. You can't buy this one on YoYo Tech, but do check them out if you want to buy any other tech in the UK. Um, and otherwise, there'll be links down below for where you can grab one of these. And uh, yeah, check out our, as I said, Facebook and Twitter. If you want to leave uh, any of the award ideas on there, that would be awesome. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Also, check out our um, our merch. Uh, so if you want to buy a cool Titan GB t-shirt or hoodie um, or just anything else, we've got loads of stuff. Um, it doesn't even have to be Titan GB. We do have a couple funny ones as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you all in the next video.